Good day, it is Stephen Davidson, and this is you. I want to show you how to clear and reset the baseline in Project Libre. The baseline is important for the auto generation of the financial and scheduling data and reports uh, of the project. You may have forgotten to set the baseline at the very start and at a later stage, and then you save it and this then throw everything out so that you do not have correct financial data. It must also be stressed that if you want to clear the baseline and reset it, it will take some effort. But this all depends on the value of the project to you as an individual and as an organization. So there is some sort of work involved. The first thing is that you must copy the file and that you must have a backup copy because if anything happens and goes wrong, you at least have a backup copy. Secondly, you must often save and make a copy in the whole process, because if something goes wrong during the process, at least you have a saved copy of the last uh, element that is good enough. So you start off, uh, it will be good because you do not need the Gantt chart just to get it out of the way. Go then to the file tab and on the file tab here on the project, clear the baseline of the entire project because you're interested in the project and uh, do it somewhere at the start because it is possible that you can forget to clear the baseline and then everything that you do is futile. Go then to the column next to name. Right click in the column directly on the right hand side of the name column. And then right click it to display the small menu. Go to insert column and then look for the percent complete. Percent complete. Okay. You can also, if you want to, insert the column date when it was completed, actual finish, and there you then have when it was finished as well as the date. You then can make a screenshot of this data because you will need it to again uh, insert the data after you have established the baseline. And print screen, and now you reset everything to zero. Uh, date completion, percentage completion, you reset now to zero. You will see the date disappears, which you can then later on at a later stage then also correctly insert because now you have a copy of the uh, completion dates. Zero. Z and so you continue. If you only have the work that is completed fully, um, your baseline will still be incorrect because the baseline, the costs work also on the percentage of the work that is completed. So sweep everything to zero. And it is easy then to see if all the tasks are zero. If you click on the subtask, there it is zero. Here is still something outstanding, though it is 2% of the work. Click it, and now you can see this uh, summary task is zero. And so you continue summary task is zero for your project until you see everything is zero. When it is zero, you then save again a baseline because you now create another baseline. Save a baseline for the entire project. Okay. And then save it. And then every now and then, as I said, you make a copy of your work. Okay, so now everything is finished and completed. And what you do now further is 
you reinsert the, uh, since you do have a baseline, and you can check if you have a baseline by going to view and then go to report. And on the reports, you will see project details. And on the baseline, baseline start, baseline finish. But, uh, and this shows you that you have a baseline. Baseline start, baseline finish, but at the baseline, there's nothing actually done. And this is what you want because you uh, made a mistake then. So if this is zero, you know you have reset your baseline and established a new one. So now you go back to your tasks, task, and then to the Gantt view. And here then what you do then is you then go back to the screenshot you made or whatever copy print you made. And now you insert the percentage of work that was completed. In this case, here's meeting one. It was 100. First meeting was 100% completed. The actual date was then this second of the second month, 21, reset the date. Five o'clock, following task is meeting two. Meeting two is also 100%. And that was completed also on the second, the second month, 21, five o'clock. And so you continue. It is important that you go through this step by step. You see here report 2 is 50% completed. So you again just insert there the 50%. The right the proposal is 95%. Do not just go and uh, cause you want to reset the data. So this is in what you do for all the tasks that are remaining. You see here uh, is a difference in the project summary, because here is 1% uh, that is of the top project admin that is completed in the old one. And here, in fact, it is stated as 26%. You see here uh, the same with the planning phase, here's 45% completed. Here is 40% completed in the previous uh, version. This is notwithstanding everything that you have in terms of the task completed correctly. The reason for this is very simply because the previous baseline was incorrect and had given therefore incorrect data. So just make sure that the tasks are correct. And the next uh, summary task is easy because he has a zero. And uh, also the new one is a zero. And so you continue. If you are happy that everything is uh, correct, save it. You do not need to copy further. And then all you do is you then uh, hide the column of the percentage complete. You hide the column of the actual finish because that is not necessarily anymore for you. In order for the data to register, you sometimes have to just exit uh, Project Libre and then reopen the file. And if you go now to File, the Project dialog box here, and you go to Information, then you will see on the Statistics tab, General tab, Statistics No tab, Statistics tab, there you will see the actual duration, but also the actual work is 1,455 hours. And then also the remaining work and the actual costs involved is this amount. You can then also then have a breakdown of the costs by going then to the view tab on top here. If you go to the view type, you go then to the other views submenu, click on the report. And if you click on the report, you will see the project details. Here you see then the project details. 
that the um, actual work that was percentage-wise completed is 17%, and the actual hours are here that uh, remains, and the, which is actually being done, as also the actual cost that was uh, incurred. And if you now go to the report of the tasks, the default report, uh, you will then have more details regarding the actual variances, etc. If you go to the cost value, here you see all the data that is being recorded. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments and criticism. Please like and share this video and please subscribe.